Uh, yesterday at baseball be. practice, my buddy Brent comes up to me. He's like, hey, man, driving my kids in the car, and my daughter's five. She is not happy with Bonte. What's his, what's his daughter's name? Uh, I forget. What's your buddy's name? Brent Sullivan. Brent Sullivan. Mr. Sullivan. I love you. I love your daughter for listening. I'll tell your daughter, Taylor Swift doesn't belong on my screen during football games. Okay? She can go listen to Taylor Swift on her iTunes. You can pull her up on YouTube. Maybe even go to a concert. Take her to a concert, Brent Monte, Sullivan. I love you. Be very careful with what you're doing right now. The internet will come after you. But let me tell you, young lady, Taylor Swift should not be shown after the Kansas City's first touchdown. But what's going to happen? Let's just say, hypothetically, the Chiefs are in a Super Bowl. <laughs> Instead of first down, oh, right. oh, oh, right. oh, like the Niners do, they do first down, and it's just Taylor Swift on the Jumbotron. Right. Are we going to show Taylor Swift for every first down? <laughs> are we going to show her for every single touchdown first? I want to see the team. Let me see the fans. I don't want to see Taylor Swift. She, does Taylor Swift know what a first down is right now? Why, why does he get you so upset? Just, it's it's we, too much. <laughs> it's too much. All Can right, we, who cares if they're dating? Why, why do you get so caught up in their dating life? Jeez, let them go enjoy a game. Nobody's mad. And to see get the first touchdown of the game, New York City, Sunday Night Football, NBC, Collinsworth, Tariko, you know, Patrick Mahomes, they score a touchdown, they light it up. And they're showing Swifty in a suite jumping up and down. Most, I don't care. Most watched game in the NFL since the Super Bowl. 27 million viewers. You have to think some of that audience is because there's a bunch of Swifties Roger, watching it. Roger Goodell, you have to do something about this. He's leaning Dick into Ibersol. it. Did you see the NFL Twitter account? Is Dick Ebersol still at NBC? Somebody at NBC, please. Dick Ebersol? Did you really drop a Dick Ebersol? Yeah, you like that knowledge, huh? That was a flex. Maybe, that, was a, that was a low key I flex. Mean, I mean, so, I love so, you. So Kansas City's going to Minnesota this week. U.S. Bank Stadium. Uh huh. Now, I may give you a pass. Cause who would I rather see, Taylor Swift or Kirk Cousins? Boy, that's a tough. I that's a tough one right there. I mean, I may give you a pass this week. But it's national. It's Sunday Night Football. It's the Chiefs. Kelsey didn't score on that touchdown. He didn't score. Was it Fireman Ed? Is that his name? Yeah. Did sure. you do you get mad when they show him? No, because they wait till the third quarter to show him. And we know he's a fan of the football. He's a football fan. Well, you know how I feel about Banjo Man. So. Well, Banjo Man's, a, you know, I'm not. But you're like, get me in I, it here. does. It does frustrate me when they show Banjo Man in the stands, and I'm like, that guy. How about they just keep a box in the corner so we have like the constant Taylor cam in the corner, so we don't have to cut after every touchdown. We just have it there constantly, picture in picture. <laughs> like, I don't even know if her music's that good. Is that where this is originating from? No, it's Pandora's not originating. No, 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 no. It's not. Not even close. So don't he love that? I, I, shake I, it look, up, I, I like, listen, <laughs> I get, I, look, one week Haters is enough. Hate, 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 okay, hate, hate. you showed her at Arrowhead Stadium when the Chiefs rolled the Bears. I get it. It's a big thing. But how long are we going to continue She's with this? the biggest star in the world right now. Beyonce was once the biggest star in the world, I and know, I don't even know I, she's I bigger than Beyonce. I, I don't know. They don't show Beyonce after the first bucket of a basketball game. But Beyonce game. Was, was dating another musician and then married another musician. She was not married or dating okay. one of the, the athletes. Uh, Beyonce's dating Steph after every three. Are we cutting to Beyonce? Probably. Yeah, honestly, probably. I so mean, we cut, to, was we cut. Wait, time out. We Clint, cut to we cut to Aisha all the time, and I'm not knocking the, that, but I'm just saying like they cut no, to his, his family that's all his the family. time. Yes, that's his family. So I'm sure other fan bases are frustrated. Probably, probably. that's fine. But she's right there. Aisha's a pet. They're a power couple. They are. That you I know? agree with. That I agree with. You know, that, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Did they show Khloe Kardashian whenever she dated James Harden or Tristan Thompson? Absolutely, they did. All the time? First basket? Yeah. No, they would wait to the quarter breakaway. Okay. He's coming back for break. We're, we're showing, this is, all I'm saying is We show timing. Rich Carter all the time. I, I have no or problem Maverick with Carter. Or whatever I have no is. problem with them showing Taylor Swift. It's the first touchdown, <laughs> and the first person they pan to is Taylor Swift. Uh, not Andy Reid. Not Bill Holmes. Not the offensive line who blew a hole a a wide open. Like, 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 come on, man. Yeah, we see them all the time. We don't see Swifty every Sunday. Come yeah, on. Yeah, and Bonte. Uh, well, apparently, she's the biggest Bonte. star in the world, so apparently we do see her it all was, the time. It was the highest rated game. So you're going to watch no matter what because you, you like football, period. Okay, you're already hooked and addicted. They're trying to get that five-year-old that's in my buddy Brent's car right now to watch a little football with her yeah. dad in the living room. All right, and that'll last for what? That'll last for what? Well, a it's, year? It's, it's start, two years? It's a start. Two years. It brings you in. And then when baby girl, Brent Sullivan's daughter, is like, where's Taylor Swift at? 
Oh, she's on tour. Okay, cool. Well, he turned his football game but off. But by then, you're hooked into the NFL. Hey, so you don't no, 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 you're not. It comes exactly. in Taylor and out. Swift is the you're bait, not getting hooked. And then you get hooked on Taylor, the NFL, and then you're a fan for life. They're of watching. The they're watching just to see Taylor Swift in a sweep to see what she's wearing. Come yeah. on, yeah. My, Come my on. wife watches the Super Bowl at times just to see the halftime show and the There's outfits. A lot of people, well, and it does that too. That's so fine. I mean, I, I'm not fine. knocking. I, all I'm saying is. We had to show her after the first touchdown. She's the first cutaway after Pacheco touches pay dirt. Would you rather She's see the, the first Kelsey cutaway? mom again? Yes! I'd rather see Andy Reid. I'd rather see the sideline going crazy. I'd rather see Pacheco's touchdown dance. Do you want to see Andy Reid? He doesn't go crazy. I want to see he Pacheco's like touchdown Andy dance. Reed, as I put a notebook over my face. Yeah, so what? I want to see him do this. I want to see the mustache. Gosh. The Swifty thing is just out of control, man. It's really bugging you. Just wait till she comes down to the sideline. I wonder how many people are as upset as you are. I, I, I think a lot of people are. You I'm really do? The text. Yeah. It does not. It, uh, it, I'm neither moved nor nor angry or anything. I'm just, I'm neutral. I feel like Steiny. She is from running that's, Pennsylvania. That's, <laughs> that's a feeling I do not want. <laughs> I love right when Steiny. I said that sentence, I was you like, regretted it. I'm like, that is not going to age well. Yeah, no, it's not. RJ and Napa. <laughs> RJ and Napa. I love you, Steiny. Gosh. I'm a man of I, I don't have no problem with Taylor Swift, RJ. I got no problem with it. All I'm just saying, no, the timing of everything. Uh -huh. Well, you got to just shove her down my throat. Jesus Christ. Good RJ. morning, gentlemen. Good I morning. just want to say um, I agree with Bonte a thousand percent on the Taylor Swift thing. Uh, the good news is I don't think this relationship is going to last more than this season. Uh, so we just got to deal with it for the time being. Do you have insider knowledge on this? No, I just, just based on past history. Huh. Um, and then uh, uh, I agree with Joe a thousand percent on the jersey thing. Um, if you're at a Warriors-Timberwolves game and some guy's walking around in the Knicks jersey, nobody cares that you like the Knicks. Exactly. So quit being a cheap bastard. Buy a Warriors hat, fit in with the crowd. Um, and the other thing I want to say about the Cowboys. So I want to give you some perspective. I'm a Detroit Lions fan. Okay. I'm as excited as anybody about the, you know, upward trajectory or apparent upward trajectory of the team. But I have no illusions of grandeur. I mean, I hope we win 10 games this year. I hope we go to the playoffs. I hope we win the division. But I'm not. A Cowboys fan sitting here year after year after year after year with the same lame quarterback, the same lame coach, and saying, oh, yeah, this is the year. This is the year, definitely. My big question for Cowboys fans is why? So anyway, thanks, guys. Have a good Tuesday. Good thanks, call. RJ. Good call, RJ. Good call. There's a text that I wanted to read that I want to ask you. Baldy in five minutes. Yeah, I can't Baldy, wait to yeah, ask Baldy, him about Baldy Taylor Baldy Swift. Baldy in four minutes. Well, he said something about Taylor Swift last week. He doesn't get it. He said it. We asked him about it last week. He goes, yeah, I'm not a Swifty. Well, maybe he's changed his opinion. I, I highly doubt that. I mean, Sam Lubman changed his opinion on Farhan Zaidi. Anything can, can happen in oh, the world. So if you don't throw him under the bus, you too. You're the same boat. <laughs> to both of you Giants fans. Call it Fries and Baseball Guys. Best podcast out there. It, go it got download that. spicy. Yeah. Yes, sir. It should get spicy. This ain't 95.7. The excuses. <laughs> uh, there, where was that text at? Comcast Business Text Line. But he basically said, and whoever he is, I can't find a number, but he said, did you have a problem? Remember the Miami Heat finals? Mm -hmm. It was a whiteout. Mm -hmm. There was one Warrior fan there. Mm -hmm. All popped out. Did you have a problem with that Warrior fan being at the finals represent the Golden State Warriors? Because a lot of Warrior fans thought it was cool. It was like, look at our dubs. We got fans internationally. And we, the Warriors weren't the Warriors of today back in those finals. Being completely honest... I mean, maybe I hit the like button on someone's tweet, but it's not like I like walked around like, you see that Warrior fan at the Heat uh, game? Like, I'm just being real. You took some pride in that. I mean, you took some maybe pride a little. in that. I took some pride in maybe it. I was like, look at the duds. Let's go. I mean, like Marlon Man, like, like was that? Well, that's like, Jump to Shark. Okay. Marlon Man is Jump to Shark. Okay. He does it for the clicks and it's the likes. It's one thing to like, wear like, a listen, hat. Because I, I, I've, I've talked to Marlon's man before. I've interviewed him. Oh, you have? And I watch him. He does it. He has two phones. And he's just looking to buy Wait people drinks. And he looks, he's looking. Yeah, absolutely. He's, it's a little too much. He's looking for attention. That's not what I'm, when I go wear a jersey at a random game uh -huh. and I wear my Niners hat and people are like, like Raider games. Well, I used to go to a lot of games I, with Big Dog City at the Oakland Coliseum. Okay. I used to wear my Niners hoodie. I'm like, oh, you a Niner fan? Yeah, I am. I don't care. Okay. 
But I'm there watching football because I love the game. But I'm going to rep who I am, and I'm just do me. I'm a Niner fan. I'm not with y'all. I'm here to watch a football game, though. But let's, let it be known, I rock with the red and gold. That's that. And we move on. Marlon Mann is doing too much. I interviewed him. He's something else, man. He's something else. So Marlon Mann's where you draw the line. That's a little much. <laughs> That's a little much. I mean, the guy just wants to be seen on television, and he's going to every game. And now you got multiple Marlins men. Yeah. There's like this Asian dude who wears a Marlins jersey. Okay. There's other dudes who's wearing, like, come on, man, let's stop. I remember when Alex Smith wore a San Diego Padres hat to a Giants game, and everyone lost their minds. Wow. wow. Remember yeah, that? I do remember that. He's from San Diego. He looks high. Shout out Reggie Bush and Alex Smith. I do like it, it, it's somebody on YouTube too. You know, good good convos come from that. Good conversations when you're wearing that. Oh man, you root for that. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You start sparking up a. Well, what I always say is this, like especially in football, because the games always seem to be about the same. If you're that big of a fan of the Cowboys, why are you at this Niners Seahawks game when your team's playing at the same time? Well, well, that's that's, well, that's that so that is a you problem. You see what I'm saying? That is a problem. I won't do that. Okay, if my team's not playing. All right. I will go to your game in my gear. Now, if you're at the game and your team's played and you're not a real fan. Like, you know, that's, Warriors, that's, Kings. So, so, like, it's I roll my eyes when I see Laker fans show up in well, Kobe jersey. Yeah, well, well. I do. That's just me. Raider fans sometimes. Careful. I knew they were. Yeah, careful. Be careful with that. Uh, Sunday Night Football, for example. There was a Raider fan sitting in front of me. They played out Sunday Night Football. So, I get it. He goes to the Niner game in the afternoon, watch the Raiders on television later on. I got no problem with that. No problem with that. Um... 888-957-9570. We got Baldy coming up. <laughs> 510. Bonte, my wife says she hates you for your take on Taylor. <laughs> Tell your wife I love her too for listening. Well, here's what I would say. I just I don't want to see her first after a touchdown. That's all. I think Pacheco scored. Wow. Oh, cut to Taylor Swift. Travis Kelsey did not score. Does you see date Travis Kelsey? Don't we show the significant other when their husband does something great or their boyfriend does something great? Is Taylor Swift dating Pacheco? I mean, the amount of cutaways that a broadcast has that would trigger me, like on the it's, Taylor Swift it's scale, it's way low. Like it's, Taylor does not. Like, whatever. I'm not. I'm not triggered by it. I, I was laugh. Just like, I just was like, wow, we no, really. You're, you're mad. Like, like, no, 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 no. I'm explaining myself, and people are mad at the way I'm explaining myself. I'm making personal. I think more I'm people making, agree with you than I, want it than they want to admit. They, no, they do. Yeah, I, that me. I agree people with. People do agree. I do get it. Like, that's out the of it. first thing we show. At the Pacheco runs, of, let me see my offensive line and get some hugs. Is she more distracting than Lavar Ball for Kelsey's game? I'm teasing now. Now I'm teasing. Now I'm being I'm not, ridiculous. I'm not, I'm not touching that. I'm not touching that. 